Hello, uh, my name is Leon Miller. I'm going to tell you, I guess, a little bit about myself. Uh, I got to this point one step at a time. I dropped out of school in sixth grade and went to work in the rock quarries of Arizona. I was only 13. I then had many other jobs trying to find what I wanted to do with my life. I washed dishes, cooked for a restaurant, I was a maintenance man for a hotel and trailer park. I tried um, driving a semi for a while. I would be I worked in the oil field for a year or two. I um, laid hardwood floors and built um, cupboards. I cut rebar for houses and um, building foundations. I unloaded trucks um, at a Target and stock shelves. Um, I built compressors um, for the oil field. Um, with all those manual labor jobs, I finally had my fill of the jobs. Um, you know, they had little to no satisfaction for me. So I, I decided I needed to go back to school to find a job that gave meaning to my life. Um, I thought I wanted to be a PA, physician's assistant. But after, but after trying to um, draw blood um, from several other students um, and utterly failing, I went um, home and cried. I decided that I liked uh, the subject science when I was taking those courses um, because I did rather well on them and they fascinated me. I also had some found, um, fond memories of school as a kid before I dropped out. Um, so then I, I finished my associates in science at Casper College. While, um, while there I volunteered at the GED Center and I helped other students pursue their GEDs. Uh, and have a future in education or with a future in education. I then moved to Laramie, Wyoming to work on my bachelor's while there I was um, president of a student body group that um, brought science education to the community. Uh, we would teach lessons and stuff like that. Um, I also did research with the graduate students in EBSCO on native bees uh, here in the US. Uh, after I graduated with my bachelor's there in Laramie, I um, could not find a job um, where my wife's family's from, here in Powell. Um, so I got a job uh, being a college advisor. I did this um, for a year. I was over three high schools um, here, and I got to travel and tour the state um, of all the colleges. Uh, when the year was up, I really wanted to teach because that's what my degree was in, so I applied to some teaching jobs in Arizona. I was offered several positions. I chose one in Verado. It's um, in Buckeye, Arizona. It's the west side of Phoenix. It was a um, middle school that housed around 1,300, 1,400 students. My smallest class size was 27. I worked there for a year and was offered to come back um, the following year. Um, however, by this time my wife was homesick um, and wanted to be closer to her family up here in Powell again. So I pursued jobs around Powell, Wyoming. I ended up getting one in Belfry, Montana. It is a tiny town with a population of around 200 people. The first year I taught there was only 16 students in the middle of high school combined. Um, I liked having a new subject um, every class period. and The staff was like family to me. They were um, very kind and nice and supportive. I continued to work there for um, three years. I finally had to leave because I could no longer support my family on a teacher's pay in Montana. I tried to get a job teaching in Wyoming, but it has not gone so well for me. I, um, I now work as a parts manager for a pivot company dealing um, with around $800,000 of um, inventory. At times I have over 15 uh, man crew to help me or that they come back from the field and I have to find them jobs to do around the yard and the shop. Um, and it's an okay job. I still would like to go back uh, to teaching though. That's where my heart and my passion is. Um, that is why I'm trying to get my master's um, from MSUB. The degree I am going, or the, D, the, the degree I am getting, um, it is in is interdisciplinary studies. I only have three courses left. I am uh, married to a beautiful woman and have four great children. Um, their ages are 30, 
nine, six, four, and a ten-month-old little girl. I would love to have hobbies, but I have uh, never found much time to make that happen uh, between work, school, and having a family. Um, if I could, I would spend more time hiking, fishing, painting, and drawing, um, working around the house, uh, having a garden, maybe, um, maybe someday. I hope this course will help me be a better teacher and a better parent. And it's kind of a little bit about my background and where I came from, and like I hope to finish my master's and then maybe get um, nationally certified as a teacher. And um, my goal would be to get a job in a middle school because I think that's the funnest place to work. And I look forward to that. Be on out.